guys? We're kind of in the dog day at camp here. Are you guys getting pretty worn out, ready for the season to start at this point? Honestly, you know, we just, uh, yeah, definitely getting ready for the season. A uh, couple of days out, so it is slowing our bodies down, getting recovery, you know, up and going right now. So that's where we're at. Yes, sir. Came in as a safety, I think, originally, and now you're <laughs> playing basically defensive end, at yeah. least in some positions. Um, what's that transformation been like for you? Uh, Man, since freshman year, you know, I've been uh, switched from uh, safety to inside, inside to striker, striker to outside. And, uh, you know, it's been a blessing. Um, you know, from all the coaches that I've had, I learned so many tools. And, you know, that just, you know, you know, I'm grateful for everything that they taught me. And I just can't wait to, you know, have the opportunity to show that on the field. So. How much has that required you to change kind of physically? Just body changes uh yeah a lot of body modifications but you know um my coaches always say you know if you really want to that you're going to do what you have to do so um past four three to four years that's really what i've been doing whatever they want me to get to i try to get to as best as i can so and i try to do my position as best as i can what's been the most difficult part of making that transformation from going from db essentially to playing a, an edge role was it the physical stuff or was it something technique wise definitely technique um you know from safety you not you know you got space and then from inside you know your space gets cut down shoot dn you got one second so um definitely technique uh but you know just a lot of reps um i feel comfortable where i'm at uh you know coach malloy the past coaches you know just you know taught me techniques to where i'm capable and comfortable at, at my size and uh skill so this offense has always been good under Coach Kelly. Do you, do, you, do you like the way the defense has been able to disrupt things in camp and you guys feel like you're on the verge of something maybe special here? Definitely. Uh, you know, our defense, you know, we got some guys on the team. And so far, our offense, you know, they got a lot of guys, new guys. So, um, you know, we both going to get after offense and defense. Can't wait to get to the Rose Bowl. Pretty soon. Yeah. How much are you squatting right now? I think I saw on Instagram like <laughs> over 500. Yeah, um, shoot. During this uh, past, um, you know, we were doing, you know, maxes and everything. And I got up to like uh, 540 on a three uh, three rep uh, max. So I probably could do more if it was just one. So. Are you still like maintaining speed and everything? Oh, 100%. Like, how do you get that balance? Um, so during the summer, you know, we go through this uh, uh, extensive training. And, you know, they're very smart. Our uh, strength staff, you know, they don't. You know, just have us go squat heck of heavy and then go run out and do a uh, sprint. So they do it very, you know, technique wise, you know, everything is well managed. Um, they make sure they keep care of our, take care of our bodies. What are you guys, up to now, like 220? Yes, yes sir. You guys have a list of like who has the heaviest squat somewhere in the weight room to where people can see it or? Shoot, honestly, we just know. <laughs> we just know who's got the heaviest, you know, whoever's throwing on more reds than anybody else. And honestly, like, with the Murph twins, uh, you know, Sykes, everybody that just came in, like when we're in the weight room, we just like still competing like we're out on the field. So that's been definitely fun. So, so who's been winning in that? Let's say it's a handful of guys right now in the same rack that's just going after it. So, heck yeah. How important is the weight room to you then, like physically and mentally then as well? Uh, I, I see it as definitely important, um, but well as, you know, having a great mindset. Um, a lot of us, you know, are away from home. Uh, you know, we're in this building all the time. Um, and you know, one thing is a getaway, you know, when we're done training, uh, done with the workouts, a lot of us go back to the weight room, just, you know, get after doing our own little thing. So that's definitely been uh, something that, you know, everybody does. Are you part of this new NIL uh, Westwood? Uh, thing that came out yesterday yes sir yeah yeah what do you like about this and what it can do for you guys honestly it's an opportunity for um us athletes to just interact with uh you know fans and you know have the opportunity to you know just have conversations with them uh you know because you know after the games you know we all go straight to our families um and then straight to the bus to get back over here uh you know now since everything's been on phone uh we have an opportunity to just you know keep it through the phone and you know interact and make relationships uh, through uh, our new uh, NIL. You're, so, uh, good. You're part of the BFA one too, so you're yeah. gonna be busy now, right? No, yeah, uh, you know, they, um, BFA and the new one, uh, BFA, they definitely, you know, take care of us and, uh, you know, time management wise, you know, they know 
we're in uh, fall camp right now. They know that we finished our games and, you know, our main focus is football. And, you know, they keep it to where we won't lose track of, you know, doing BFA, NIL, but focusing on football first. Um, they find windows to where, you know, we do have off days and, you know, when we can, we can show up. And it's not something that you have to show up to, you have the opportunity to, and if you want to, you can. So that's one thing that I love about uh, Gene Block and how he started that. You had, uh, there, there was a video that went up earlier today. I don't know when it was taken. It was some kind of like dance party or something going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who, there was someone with like a backwards hat and chains. Who hey, was yeah. that? That's DJ Armac, the dude that be slapping all the okay. slaps over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we had karaoke night uh, for the past few days. And, you know, that's just something that we do as a team to just bond, get closer, and see who, you know, who got the vocals and who don't. So, so who does? Shoot, uh, last night with uh, the hype stuff with the chains, Gary Smith, uh, the transfer from Duke, you know, he killed the show, had the mic the whole time, him and Jay Toiloa. So, you know, definitely a fun time. Awesome. Yes, Thank sir. you so much.